you welcome back to my channel <laughs> welcome to another aliexpress haul i hope everybody's doing good i'm doing great my son is still visiting and of course i'm a very happy mama because i haven't seen him in so long and guess what it's still like i haven't seen him in almost five years and when he walked in the door it was just the same like always <laughs> you know it there was no weird feeling or anything it's just like the life continues there was a little break and you know i know he's back and it's it's so weird but it's so good okay so i'm here with the aliexpress haul and um I know there were questions about China stuff because of the virus and I read about it a lot and they say that the virus cannot survive, you know, without a host, like a person, so they should be safe. I didn't get sick yet, <laughs> so I don't know. I don't know. Everybody has to decide for themselves. One thing that I'm thinking is, are they even allowed to ship now? You know, I don't know. I don't know if there is like a um, backlog or something because I have gotten a couple items, but I did not get a whole bunch of items yet that I have ordered a while ago. So I don't know if they have like a shipping problem or something, but also a lot of people are scared to order from Ali in general I will tell you I never had a problem if something doesn't cut I will open a dispute and it would always work out um, in my favor you know so I have never had a broken piece here that I couldn't get my money back or it was a hassle or anything it's not even a hassle you just open a dispute you just click a button and you know you don't have to talk to anybody or do anything Okay, so I want to start out. I have my first die here that I have gotten. Please excuse all the mess. I tried. I tried, but it's not working. <laughs> I'm a messy crafter. This was 95 cents and it is like a chain. I don't know um, if there is a certain English word for that. It's like a chain, basically, you know, and it has the hooks. I don't know if you can use it um, for an anchor or something. Oh, you could probably hang an anchor down that part, you know, but I liked it because, you know, because... You can use the chain, of course, as decoration, but you can also use the hooks. You know, if you cut them in two different directions, you could hook it up on your um, project. Let me put something white underneath because it gets lost here. So you can hook it up like this and one is longer and one is shorter. Maybe I should have cut it in a different um, paper or something because I feel like it's a little hard to see. So there. There, <laughs> one is longer and one is shorter and I lost my metal ruler in my whole mess. So I'm going to use this one again just to tell you how long they are. Of course, let me see. I think you can still cut them as long as you want. My brain is not working. Since my son got home, nothing in my brain is working anymore. It's four and three quarters long, the longest piece. And then there is a shorter piece, which is three inches long and they are i don't know quarter of an inch or something maybe and yeah so the chain itself is if i say it correct in inches and stuff it's an eighth of an inch and the hook is a quarter of an inch i thought it would be you know you could just make it more um put a couple layers on it so it's going to be really really sturdy and you could actually maybe i'm going to try if you make like junk journals or something and you wanted a little tuck spot i want to try this is what i wanted to try out, out if you have like something closed and it's basically a little closure i don't think it needs to hold in a journal you know but maybe they could be stuck and glued underneath Let's say this is glued onto your journal and maybe it's possible to open them up, you know, just like this and then close them up again and have a little closure. That's what I was thinking. And for 95 cents, I thought it's, you know, makes sense to try it out <laughs> and I'm going to. Okay, so let me put this aside. <coughs> Excuse me. This is my first piece and where is the rest of it? Oh, here. I also got some stamps. And I wanted to stamp them with you, of course. Um, they were $2.46. It's um, a pack of stamps. Let me toss this and let me just show you what they are. Uh, uh, uh. 
I don't know. I was just thinking making my own embellishments or tags or something like that. Uh, truthfully, I have a ton of stamps. I have a million stamps and they are probably not needed, <laughs> but wanted. Ah, uh, do I have any ink on here? I only have my distress ink. So we are going to stamp them out with the distress ink. So I don't have to get up and get some ink and, you know, it's not going to be a good stamping, but it will just show you what it is. You know, it's not going to be perfect. But also, if you're making something vintage or whatever, or junk journal style, you don't want it to be perfect in the first place, right? So I'm just going to turn it up, press it. <laughs> you see, this is my stamp. What is it called? Platform. My hands. <laughs> my hands are the stamping platform. I don't know if it's going to stamp good. Oh, it stamps well enough for us to see what it is. And it's basically, I don't know, do you call this ledger? I don't know. I asked my husband what, what ledger actually means, but he had no idea. So I'm guessing ledger is the lines, um, how they are lined up. I don't know. Let me, let me know in the comments down below what this is. So this is all stamps. One, two, three, four, five, six. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So this little tiny fine stamp is extra. And then the little font here. I like that because you can use this little stamp to just, you know, put a little bit. If you are making a journal or whatever card or, you know, and you want just a little bit of script on there, you don't have to have a big piece. You can just. You know, go ahead and do that. Oh, I love it. Ha! Huh? I love that. <laughs> I love um, the font too, how it's um, the writing is. I don't care what it says, actually, but it says something with June 25th, 1902. But what, what the rest of it is, I cannot read because I'm so bad. So the other one says every bottle sterilized. And then here is, I don't know if that's degrees or whatever. And this one? You know, it doesn't say on top what it says on top. It says something. Oh, no, those are just dots on top here. Okay, so it seems like this one is just dotted. And this one has a number, punctuations. What? Punk? Okay, not going to read that. Don't know how to pronounce that. <laughs> so I'm not going to read that. And this one is B-A corner people or something. I don't know. Who cares? Are you reading that when you're crafting? I'm not. So there is this one. I like it. I told you the price. And of course, I can measure this for you. They are around uh, maybe two inches tops by two and a half. And that's the biggest one. And the rest is a little smaller and a little smaller. For me, for the little crafts I do, I don't do a big canvas or something most of the time. This is exactly um, what I like. And um, if you want to make a little embellishment or a little, not embellishment, what is it called? Ephemera. Then you are good with this one, I would say. And I do have one more for you to show. Let me put this back in just so I don't lose it in all of my mess. <laughs> and the other one I have is similar. It was 224. And I'm going to do the same thing again. I'm just gonna use my ink that I have here on my desk. I can't wait to play with those stamps actually. I do wanna. You know, I started, I almost finished my junk journal and then I got stuck because I don't know what the. Uh, oh my god. What is it called? See, I forget words already. What is it? The outer part of my journal, uh, I don't know anymore. However, I don't know what it's supposed to be, how I how I want it to be. So I just decided to start another journal. So now I'm working on two journals. <laughs> I think that's a normal thing, right? Everybody's working on two things. So let me show you. Of course, this is not perfect once again, but this is something. It stamps and there is another font again, and I'm liking this. I want to try the font out by itself real quick, how it's going to go. If I would just, you know, yeah, that's not bad. If I'm just making a little mixed media piece or even a tag and I want some, some cute background, not cute, but you know, 
I could totally stamp this as a, as a background and I like this. And one of them has a stamp and this, this one is a stamp, I believe. It says ear on it. Boston to Albany. So this is more like a traveling thing. I don't know if this is supposed to be a letter to somebody. I can't read anything here, but do you know what this is? I, it looks like a letter somebody would write to somebody. And this looks like tickets to go somewhere. So I'm not quite sure, but like I said, I they are more like for ephemera for me, or, um, you know, you can just make some small ephemera pieces. You can take a piece of paper, coffee dyed or whatever, and stamp a little and then cut it out, distress it and put it into a tuck spot. And there is your writing spot for a journal or something like that. Or of course you can, I don't know, use some more snippets or whatever and make a bigger ephemera piece. So there is that for today. And, uh, yeah, I'm waiting on the other stuff to come in. Hopefully it's going to come in soon because I have ordered a bunch of stuff. <laughs> yeah, I did. Um, let me know in the comments which one you like most. Of course, I will have the links down below in the description if I find them. Sometimes, guys, it's really weird. I go into my link and it doesn't work anymore. And um, I don't have much time to look around and find the same, especially with my son being here. So I apologize for that. But I'm always trying my best. If there is any question, you can always leave a comment down below and I will get back to you. So thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this one, give me a thumbs up, share, subscribe, and I will see you soon. You enjoy your day. Bye-bye.